Hi. Uh, memory card 14, a couple of outposts, and a radio tower. I'm sorry, I didn't record this radio tower. I should have done, because it's actually kind of a tricky one. Um, but it is in the north middle of the South Island. <laughs> I'll show you a map in a second, although the marker is in slightly the wrong place. But I still love these reveal sequences. They're just really pretty. They're so pretty. And there is the Rakyat trial that I just uploaded. Anyway, it is there just to the south. You see it by the goat symbol and the plus sign underneath the Eastridge Camp name. And now we're going to go to Eastridge Camp. This one's interesting. Um, you got a sniper up there who I don't manage to tag. And I've come in from the wrong side. So I'm going to run up onto this cliff to get a better view on them. And I actually end up sniping a lot of them. And look, we've tagged a goat as well. A uh, sniper up there, sniper to the left who I don't tag immediately but I spot in a little bit. And there's a dingo in that cage who is pretty worthless. And I didn't realise why shooting the door didn't open it until I was watching it back and I realised I just didn't shoot anywhere near it. You'll see here. I actually shoot the tin roof. So no wonder they turn around and go, ah, sniper! And start to close in on my position. But they don't see me, which is uh, surprising. But I let the dingo out and he deals with a couple of them. There's a sniper up there that I finally spot from his laser sight. And I shoot him in the shoulder, unfortunately, but then I get him in the head. So that's good. Uh, then the other guy proves a bit troublesome. He moves around um, there. That should have been a clean shot, but I think the tree branch has funny geometry on it. And it stopped me shooting him. And so that's pretty annoying. And after that, this guy here on the left is coming up. I've got a charger coming towards me. So I loop around behind him. And I should have got a takedown here, I'm not quite sure why I didn't, but the prompt never uh, appeared, so I just cut him to pieces. And then back to focus on the sniper, the guys on the left see me a little bit, they haven't seen me properly, uh, but he goes down relatively easily. And now this other charger is coming up, he's trying to work out where I am, so sneak to the bushes, and he comes past, and it's a pretty easy takedown from here. Drag him back into the bushes there. And it's good that there are no flamers here. Those flamers suck. Oh my god, you're going to see how badly they suck in a minute. Um, so just two guys left. And the dingo, you'll see there, uh, turns up again and takes that guy out for me, which is very convenient. And there's just the goat and that dude left. And so I take this guy out from the bushes. There we go, man down and outpost. Uh, unlocked, and I think I got 1500 for it. Um, it was undetected. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, an undetected, which is quite surprising, but I'll take it. Uh, nothing much else to do here except a wanted dead mission. So I took that because I haven't done one of these for a while and I kind of miss them. And they've got a bit harder too. There's a couple of heavies, a rocket sniper, um, and then a dude down on the beach and a couple of other guys that I didn't manage to tag. So I get around up here above them. There's the other heavy, so tagged him. And I think they're both flamers, but this guy just wanders into this bunker, so he's sort of begging for a bit of annihilation. And there's a lost letter in there as well, if you want to grab that. But I will do, probably this weekend, I'll do the lost letters and uh, relics walkthrough once I've finished off clearing up the island. And I've also got the monkey missions to finish up. And I think I did all the lost expedition missions. They renamed them, and they were actually a bit disappointing in the end. But I digress. Uh, so heading around here, I've sped this up no end because I am going for the sniper, but it takes me a while to make my move. So there he is there. I mean, he's not actually a sniper, but he's got the sniper symbol on him. But that's a simple takedown when everyone's back's turned. There's an RT prompt over there for a knife takedown, and the oh, temptation to pull that trigger is overwhelming. I always want to do it. Uh, but I didn't want everyone to see me, so I head around this way and sort of hide down here for a good long time and wait for the stars to align uh, for these guys to line up where they should be. This guy comes here and that sniper dude, as soon as he's turned around, I do a jump takedown on this guy and then just balls it out and charge the wanted dead guy. So even though the others see me, I get a knife takedown on that guy. So that works out quite nicely, but there's still two left and I foolishly got the wrong weapon and now there's a flamer. Uh, in the show and so I died but I got the mission complete so that's okay and you just go back to the bounty board so actually it saves a bit of traveling but off to Lazy Shore Marina which is the next one and this one oh, this one does not go well 
I start off a little bit stealthy, you'll see. I tag a couple of people from a distance and then head in a bit closer to get a better vantage point. This rock is conveniently placed to uh, tag from. Here we go. So tagging them and then uh, this guy here nearly sees me so I nip around the corner and tag him and then he's sort of isolated no one's really looking I check to see if anyone's around and there doesn't appear to be so as soon as he turns his back he's an obvious kill now what's interesting about these flamers is you can shoot the tanks on their back and get 300 XP for the pleasure and now this guy the charger sees the body in a second and it sort of does annoy me how far they see the corpses from um, when they will quite happily be looking at you but not see you do a takedown but he goes down pretty quickly and I manage to not get away with that and now all hell breaks loose I get set on fire in a second I think uh, there we go and the flamers oh my god they suck they take multiple bullets to the head and they also disrupt your sights you'll see there that the sights went all skewy I guess heat throws them uh, but he basically took a full clip, and he's still just gone to his knees. Uh, the grenade misses, I think, uh, but it blows up their uh, tanks. And if you shoot their tank, I get a couple of shots in on one of their tanks in a bit, and you'll see it explodes very nicely. Um, but obviously the alarm's gone off at this point, and there's just endless reinforcements. I think I get three cars and a boat come in. Uh, and I'm just appalling with grenades. I either overcook them or misjudge the arc or some combination of the two. Look, guys charging me from here. I'm not quite sure where they've come from. I guess they parked a car around the corner. There's a flamer about to close on my position from the left. You see him there. Uh, he gets stunned a bit from that. Uh, that grenade does nothing. Uh, but he goes down and I think this is where I shoot the canister on his back there and it explodes quite nicely for 100 XP but later on I got 300 I think for exploding one of those there's another flamer uh, I think there might be two coming towards me at some point but again my grenade skills miserable but I think this one puts him to his knees and there we go he's down but I get a little bit burnt my health is out it's just I came in I think with five health packs and I end up with practically zero there's a guy off to the left there <laughs> this flame is still going uh, Come on, you can do it. But you just can't see anything through the plume of flames, which I guess makes sense. That's obviously what they want to do because they're short range, so that's really all they've got. But they'll just, they're like the Terminator. They're relentless. They keep coming. Molotov in the car. <laughs> but only 20 XP, so I guess there was only a driver in there. And then down this way, and I figure I will charge the building because there's a couple of guys up there, but another set of reinforcements arrives while I'm up here. And it's coming from the east. But I get a takedown on him, and I tried for the knife throw, thro thro tried for the knife throw, but fumbled it. Uh, so I just go around here and thro throw a bad grenade and then shoot him. And again, running out of health, so another quick heal. And then I box myself into this room where I'm being shot at from all sides. And you'll see there's another two flamers charging down the hill here. That grenade falls short. Um, then I think I toss another one, which doesn't end up much better. And then, yeah, I sort of stand in here for a bit and peek my head out here. And there's a dude down here who's just popped out, who I sort of pick off, not very elegantly. And then I haven't noticed the mini-map, but there's a guy circling around on my left, and I think he's about to come in the front door and set fire to me in a very mean way. Oh, sorry, here are the two flamers. It was just one before. But that one fell short. This one, uh, I think, puts them to their knees. But by that time, this flame is setting fire to me, and it's all got a bit messy. So I knife him. There's another guy there. I'm on fire again. <laughs> oh, lordy. So, uh, word of advice, don't let the alarms go off on the South Island. It gets pretty hideous pretty quickly. This guy I managed to jump assassinate. Yay! So that's kind of a, a minor highlight in an otherwise pretty pitiful outpost takeover. And then there's a couple of guys here. Uh, I take these guys out with a grenade. One goes down for 300. The other one's on his knees, I think, but I get his tank for another 300, so that's good news. And then I think there's just... Th oh no, there's not this, just this guy left. There's that guy, and then there's a guy in a boat. And this is a bit weird, because in the previous mission, and I think I know why actually, but in the Overheat Rakiat mission, 
Uh, no, sorry, there's two guys left. In the Overheat Rakiat mission, you were able to destroy the boats by shooting their engines, but that was with a mounted gun, so I suspect that's what I was doing wrong. Here I'm shooting it with my suppressed sniper rifle, and I put seven or eight rounds in it, or maybe five or six, I'm not sure, before this guy starts to get really annoyed and jumps in the mounted cannon. And it's at this point that I'm glad I haven't upped the difficulty to hard yet, but I will do that for the next round, because I think it's... it's I'm getting away with murder here. I should be dying and doing this a lot more cleanly, and it would just hone my skills. But he's gone back to the driver's seat, and I can't be bothered to try and explode the boat anymore, so I just headshot him. And finally, three hours later, uh, outpost uncovered. But that was fun. I actually quite liked the franticness and messiness and just the ridiculous amount of uh, people who came. Anyway, grab memory card number 14. It is LSD, maybe? Is it LSD? We'll have a look in a second. LSD 25. There we go. Unprofitable venture. Market's relatively small. Memory card number 14. Anyway, that's your lot. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.